three, interview two. I joined Unity before there were any 2D tools in Unity and people created 2D games by faking 3D to look 2D and that, that kind of worked and a lot of amazing titles were shipped using this process but the workflow wasn't quite there and I remember when 2D tools shipped and people were like, wow, okay, Unity is, you know, I'm going to use Unity to make 2D games. So The Lost Crypt is a, a 2D sample project um, that aims to show all these different new features that Unity has released recently and it's a little bit of everything all working together. One of the exciting things for me is placing 2D lights around the environment drastically changes how everything looks. I remember the first time I saw the animated rigged character change visuals uh, when you collect the wand and then suddenly you're casting a 2D light with a shadow onto a tarmac wall. It just is it's almost too easy now to apply 2D shadows to things. Sprite Shape, the feature for building 2D levels, now, at this point, you have a gizmo in the scene view where you can go, okay, let's create a pivot point here so that it goes up and then adjust the angle so that it's not too smooth, but also not too harsh. Um, making games in an actual 2D render in an actual 2D space now, it's so much better. The character in the 2D demo, um, she was basically, we had added bone structure and rigged her hair so that the braids would look a little more animated and we would have easy time animating using the 2D animation package. However, we realized that when she jumps, we wanted to be a little more variation in there and we wanted to be more smooth and... A bit more dynamic. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. The word that I was looking for. <laughs> And using the rigid body 2D component, we were able to just replace the animation with just real-time physics. Um, we've added a PSD importer package. Rather than uh, export your artwork separately from another software, with the PSD importer, that annoying step of having to do your work again is kind of is, is removed entirely. And you just drag it, drag and drop her in, and she looks the same. And yeah. Like, oh, you didn't have to. You didn't have to reorder anything. Uh, no, <laughs> our artist has already said where the arm is, so that's where the arm will be. Yeah. So one of the exciting things is it's not just a set of 2D tools for just graphics or animation, it's kind of covering a bit of everything. And I think that's the powerful part of it. You can combine animation rigging with shaders and, and you get really great results. In terms of that, process, I think it's going to help a lot of people who are very visual or they want to create games or they they almost have all these very powerful tools at their disposal to, to actually create what they want to create and they, they don't have to think about too much about some more technical parts. The technical parts are still there, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, a lot of people who want to go from their idea to the end phase, we now actually have the tools for them to do this. and and we're, we're improving them all the time. Yeah. Our tools are created to be very dynamic. We love not only working on projects that allow people to see what is possible, but also then make these things available. I've seen a lot of pretty cool experimentation of projects we released, and it's exciting to see what people do with the, the new 2D tools because of how flexible and dynamic they are. So in the Unity editor, if you go Window Package Manager, you then have a long list of all the different tools and features that we're constantly updating all the time. And people can then almost choose what they want to add based on what they want to create. For instance, if you go to 2D Render, there's a documentation link which you click and it opens up the web browser and you have a full guide on how to use it, what it means. It's all documented there. To download the Lost Script, you can go to the 2D Tools page right now. There's also a wide range of other links and info to get you started with the brand new 2D systems that we've released with Unity.